Now, to put all this into perspective, what does it mean to you as a developer? Okay, it's one thing to recognize the business value of legacy data, the L, right? And to be committed to upholding its integrity, the I, all right? All of that might be firmly planted in your thinking, in your head, as it were, in a conf, conf, conf whatever. Uh, that's your head. But what about your heart, though? Okay, your, your fervency, your enthusiasm, your passion. Are you passionate about these values? Do they move you to the point of enthusiastic support for those who help drive you to excellence? And for that matter, are you yourself driven to excellence? Let me ask it another way. Are you satisfied with the status quo? Or does your fervency move you to go beyond that? Do you break out of your comfort zone, go the extra mile, and simply blow away the status quo? In one of my other keynote presentations, I asked my audience this question. Are you a catalyst for change or an antagonist? Now, as developers, I think we achieve fervency and excellence when we recognize that an expectation is something that should be exceeded, not just met. You can quote me on that. I will stand on that as long as I live. Uh, say it another way. American baseball player Tommy Lasorda once said, There are three kinds of baseball players in this world. Those who make things happen, those who watch things happen, and those who wonder what happened. Now, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I sounded a whole lot like uh, the late, great Tommy Lasorda. Rest in peace, brother. But I will tell you this, all right? The catalyst for change is driven by their fervency and sets about to make things happen, while the antagonist just sits back and either watches or wonders while the world goes by and leaves them behind. Who wants that? Not even a developer, right? Hey, listen to me. If I truly believe that I should make every effort to ensure my data is right, oh my goodness, Dr. Joe, I can't believe you said that. Oh no, you said my data. Oh no, 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 we're not supposed to personalize it. Well, I'm sorry, but I beg to differ. I don't agree with that, okay? Okay, okay, granted. Don't throw rocks at me. It might not be your data, but I do believe we need to take personal responsibility and personal accountability for the data. So in that sense, you bet your boots I'm going to call it my data. I don't care what anybody says, all right? So I do repeat, forgive me, but I truly believe that I should make every effort to ensure my data is right, that it has this integrity, Okay, then I should approach that belief with enthusiasm, with passion, with fervency. If I know that my organization will be better off when decisions about resources, sales strategies, manufacturing techniques, employee benefits, professional development, business growth, and a whole multitude of other factors are driven by data and I have anything to do with it, then I should enthusiastically, passionately, and fervently make every effort within my power, and you know what, <laughs> maybe even beyond my power, okay, to ensure that the data is right, hands down. That needs to be a driving force in my life, maybe in yours too, I don't know. You know what? Since fervency comes from the word for fire, guess what? It should be kind of the stuff that boils me, the kind of stuff that fires me up. You know, it's the overwhelming passion that captures the attentions of developers who have dedicated themselves to be a success. That, my friends, is the third pillar, all right? That's fervency. The F in life is fervency. Okay, now, before we go on to the fourth pillar, Let's have another quick review of the first three pillars of life, and I'll try not to hit anybody. Okay, who can tell me what's the first pillar? Starts with an L. Legacy. Legacy. Correct, sir. All right. Who can tell me the second pillar? Starts with an I. Inte oh, my goodness. There's about 14 of you, so whoever catches it, it bounced off the thing. All right. Who can tell me the third pillar? Fervency, that's not fair because it's right in front of you. It's in the thing. Uh, let's see. Let's try. All right, you with the red shirt. I know your shirt's black, but I mean, the, there you go. Yeah. Ich bin nein, Dumkopf. All right. 
Now, bonus question. Who can tell me what the fourth one is? Starts with an E. Oh. Say again. Efficiency. Oh, uh, let's see. That's way down there. All right. Wow, we got some great baseball players here. There's no Tommy Lasorda here. Okay. <laughs> you guys are an amazing audience. You've been so kind and patient with me. All right. We come to the fourth and final pillar. The E, as was correctly told, is efficiency. 